hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you on how to enhance your cctv camera or ip camera video quality so let's jump into our nvr and let's find out which one is uh, requires enhancement so what we're looking at is the veranda look at that as you can see here it's not really bad I can see the birds there um, it's not really bad because at the moment it's not too bright outside but during the bright sunny days all you can see is this part here but the shady part it's really hard to see and you can see it right now that uh, it's a bit dark on this side so when someone is walking in here you can hardly see them during the bright sunny days so at this hour it's not really bad because it's cloudy outside let's do that now so i'm in the in vr at the moment so if i go to the configuration um you go to the image and that is camera 2 as you can see in the in vr settings there are only three options there so basically we cannot enhance much in here so we need to jump into the ip camera itself to change the settings to get the best image quality of your ip camera so we need to get the ip address of this camera that's number two it's gonna go to the system settings in camera management number two is 10.0.3.15 I'm just gonna jump into that one and there you go so this is the camera itself it's not the in VR our in VR is 192 and this is 10.0.3.15 so it's different IP address so you need to go to the configuration and go to the image and there you are as you can see lots way lots of options that you can change from here compared to the uh, in vr so first thing you need to do is once you're here make sure you're in the display settings tab on the switch day and night you change that to scheduled switch and basically what it does is it will uh, schedule it's not automatically detect if it's day and night it will schedule of whatever the time you put in there so start time is 6 a.m and the end time is uh, 7 p.m that's the uh, day so after that is it's a night we have three tabs here that you can change the settings the common and the day and the night so you can change the image quality of each of this tab so in the common side i normally just change the saturation to 55 as you can see the the quality it's it's now a bit orangey on the soil side the orange become more orange but if you go higher see but it's up to you which one you prefer but i like uh, not too much saturated actually i make it 60 yeah the so green becomes more green orange become more orange but not too much and also in here day and night switch as well you have to change this as well to the scheduled one it will be the same uh, 6 and 7 p.m and here you don't need to do anything in the video adjustment so basically what i did is just change the situation leave everything uh, on its default so just the saturation in the common tab now let's change the day tab so during the day I'd like to make this one contrast a little bit more so I normally change it to 60 so it's a little bit more crispy oops someone is coming out to the door um, I leave the sharpness and brightness and the exposure settings 
is the same and this is where the magic will happen the WDR so what I normally in here is I turn on the WDR leave the BLC area off I'm gonna mute my phone because it just keep detecting all right um so the WDR I'll turn it on and once I turn that on as you can see it start to brighten the shady part so at the moment it's in zero then I can adjust it so let's say I want to put in on 60 okay so that's 60 and as you can see it changed and you can see how clear or how bright is the shady part of the uh, camera so normally I put this one here to 75 wish yep and I'm happy with these settings and in the white balance I just gonna leave that out to white balance and the image enhancement um, there's a noise reduction level here I'm gonna leave it on default 50 because it's bright outside anyway there is not much noise in there so basically what I adjusted is just the contrast in the backlight settings turn on the WDR and change the level to whatever you like mine is on 75 let's go to the night tab on the night tab I normally change the brightness to 100 and you cannot see this changes at the moment because it, it's in day mode and in the exposure settings are the contrast leave it to 50 sharpness 50 default exposure default and in here you don't need to change this WDR um, white balance is also default and the noise reduction this is the one I am going to change I normally change this to 80 because during the night it's a bit dark although the infrared is uh, turned on during the night but it's not enough so it's a bit uh, noisy so I normally put the noise reduction on 80 not too much otherwise it's very very smooth when you look at if you put it to 100 and basically that's it if you look at that on the live view look at that you can see the dark or the shady part you can see it clearly and as you can see it's a bit uh, saturated actually I'm gonna change the saturation a little bit I think uh, that is too much I'm gonna change it back to 55 let's have a look yeah I think that is better so 55 is good to me not too orangey on the orange so this is the before as you can see the quality of before and this is the after and you can see the difference it's far more better especially if you're looking at your mobile phone as well as your mobile phone is has a small screen it looks better actually i'm going to show you quickly what it looks like um during the night so let's go to our in vr and let's go to playback and we'll select the veranda and we're just gonna play that one so that's during the night so that is how it look like during the night see as you can see there's a little bit a little bit of well not a little bit lots of noisy there but it's a little bit more better once you put that noise reduction a little bit and yeah it does really help and as you can see as well that you can clearly see the area that light part there that's also a camera 
it's an infrared so it's not a light all right guys that's about it for today and thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you in the next video thank you